Mangoba years all about helping each and everyone to revive their ambitions and reinforce their dreams. So uh, to apply for these shortening programs, as I've indicated, please note that most of the honors and uh, postgraduate and undergraduate uh, qualifications, they are closing very soon as like 15th of October. So now you are you still have a chance to apply for the short learning programs. So the applications for short learning programs at UNISA they are open as of 13 uh, September 2021 until 28 February 2022. Who can apply? Everyone who wants to start a new application on a short learning program. Uh, this include first year UNISA applicant. If you are uh, studying at UNISA, you can still apply for a short learning program. Uh, UNISA student changing from uh, to a new qualification applicant who previously applied for admission but were not offered the space. So if you are rejected and you are not offered the space, you can apply for a short learning programs. You are allowed to uh, choose two programs like two choices, first choice then uh, following with your second choice then uh, unisa will inform you with your application latest by end of january 2022 uh, if you have applied before that date obviously if you have applied after february please expect your response after february or something like that so these are the documents that you will need um, you need to have a copy of your school certificate, for example, a senior certificate, metric or grade level result, obvious metric if you apply at UNISA. At UNISA, they never consider grade level result. That's why when you apply, if you are still doing grade level or if you are still doing grade 12, they will only require your ID copy only. So they don't look at your grade level result. You will need the copy of your official tertiary academic record if applicable already. Internet uh, copies will not be accepted because they contain passwords most in most cases. So that's why you need to get a copy, certify it, and scan it. You will need a copy of your ID or your passport, a copy of your marriage certificate if applicable or divorce decree. I don't know. A sworn transaction of documents if they are not in English. Uh, these are the documents that you should be able to upload. They should not be bigger than. 2 MP, which is 2048 kilobyte or something like that. Um, you are only allowed to apply only black and white document must be submitted. Not this thing where you scan your document with your phone and they are not clearly. These are the types of document you can upload PDF, a doc, word document or an image, which is a TIFF uh, image. But I, I always advise you to upload a PDF document. So to apply for short learning programs, please note that there is no application fee. You just apply, then you receive the acceptance or the offer. Uh, there. You can also view your short learning programs, especially before you do the online application to view the short learning programs. You just come here and click. You can just click short all programs under short learning programs. So these are the all programs that you can see advances from there. So obviously will not start from advanced if it is your first time unless you have a higher qualification that is more than that. But obviously when you click here, you should be able to see the requirement for that uh, qualification. For example, you check what you'll apply and everything that you'd like to apply for. So yeah, without wasting any time to apply, you come here to the main page, you can just click apply here. Then after that, you scroll and come where it says under the tab where it says short learning programs. As you can see, 2022 applications are open. You come and click apply for admission. Then once we are here, come and click, don't click here. Come and click where it says you apply online. You click here, apply online. And then you come and click, don't click undergraduate this time. Don't click on postgraduate. Just click where it's under short learning programs. You, you click there. Uh, when they ask, do you already have a student number? They don't mean the student number you used when you are applying for the undergraduate or postgraduate uh, diplomas or for masters. But if you applied for short learning programs before, now they ask you, do you have a student number? They want that student number. But if you have that student number which you obtained when you are applying for undergraduate and postgraduate qualifications, 
they don't need that student number there so you can you can just click no if you do not have that student number then you enter your name your surname names date of birth quickly then after that if everything it is correct because if you make a mistake with the names here hey guys to get the student number it is difficult it is difficult you make a spelling mistake here when you get your student number it will be difficult so make sure that everything it is correct here then you click continue then after that it is the step where you need to choose your program your first choice you are allowed to uh, select the say two choices but you first enter your say, first choice here so you first choose your college this means a faculty so you must know which faculty that's why it is important to view the programs before you can apply and see where do they follow so let's say you want something under science and engineering and technology you click there then select category obviously it is short learning programs qualification then this is where you need to come and choose your qualification let's choose this one specification then you click continue then a confirmation of your qualification selected it will come here you will see that it is a short learning program under the designing and implementing the name of your course academic years for 2022 if you are not fine with this you can cancel or you can go back uh, or if you are fine with this then you click continue then you come here and fill the remaining information that is left make sure that on your initials you leave a space then you enter your title your id then you indicate your gender when it comes to a uh, physical disability please don't leave it here like not applicable just uh, come and select it this not applicable click continue and then you come and enter your contact information make sure that you start with the country code for uh, for south african it is plus two seven then you don't put the zero now you continue with the rest of the number starting from seven six or eight i don't know how it is and then you can just copy this and paste it here you can also paste it under home number if you are using the same number if you are not using the same number enter the number from your home then you enter your email address here then you will copy it here go to the next tab you paste it make sure that everything it is correct so to make sure that everything it is not correct avoid the copy and paste uh, yeah it will give you correct result then you need to answer this information uh, do you require further assistance on career what 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 you will indicate if you want to uh, are you currently or retired staff member you will indicate uh, are you a dependent current or retired or deceased permanent what 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 you leave that one you are not a prisoner obviously then this one when it comes to an examination center don't be worried with this one which says how 10 online examination because unisa is located in pretoria of which pretoria is located in Houghton province so this is the center of the of unisa this is where so it shouldn't stress you that means you will be writing online examination so you do not have to go to your center and everything uh do you intend to apply for exemption or credits for previous studies obviously if you have completed a qualification another university so you will indicate here so if you didn't you will just click no then click continue we come to the part where you have to enter your address so guys please pay attention to this one in this i always advise that you enter your street address do not try to use the postal address even if it says postal address here just use the post the street address throughout there so the first thing you enter the street number then the next step you enter the name of the street yeah? then you can the name of the street or the name of that thing so if you are staying um on on rural you will write the name of the house you see those numbers that are being uh, written on walls on top of the door on top of the window yeah you write that number then you write the name of the village here then here you come and write the name of the suburb so if your suburb is not there or if you are not sure about the spelling of the suburb write the city yeah? 
once you have the name of the suburb just copy it here to go and search for your postal code so you copy here you highlight this control c you come and search for a postal code then if it was a suburb you click here if it was your time you click here you'll post it here so let's say in this case this one was a suburb you click you post it here then you click search then only you see only the name of the of my suburb will come here but if i searched it with johannesburg a lot of it a lot of postal addresses will come here but if that's how you will get it get it but i always advise to copy this and then you can click continue as you can see just like this you enter the name or the name of your street and street number name of the suburb you leave all of this empty you come to this part where you come and search for your postal code as i've said that i advise you to use the same information throughout until to the end so when they ask you is your physical street the same as your postal address you just click yes you will see when you go forward here everything on your physical address it is the same as your postal address then you just click continue so now you come and enter your home language do you have a twin sibling you will indicate if you do your nationality you will indicate your nationality uh, population group all of this uh, if you are working you will indicate that you are working if you're not uh, working you will just say you are not working so you just indicate what you are currently doing now um, yeah let's say unemployed now so you can just click un then this will come up and click enter economic setter you can click not applicable if you are not working so you just say uh, not then this will come out then previous economic you can still say you are not uh, and you are not studying if you are studying you say just select if you are, if you were at school you indicate if you are not yeah let's say university student then you click continue then you come here if you have completed your metric after grade 12 after 2008 we call it a national senior certificate from 2008 until today it is a national senior certificate but prior to 2008 you can try sometimes it is called a senior certificate or you can indicate if you are currently in grade 12 or you can just say other you just say other and then write the name of your qualification oh, sorry your name of your school living certificate so for us it is this one then when it comes to this one i always advise that you click here where it says no because um uh, we don't know this one so a, a metric exam number if you know it metric here when did you complete your metric you will indicate when did you complete your metric if you are currently doing metric indicate your province then uh, they will give you the name of the school you can quickly write the first three letters the name of the school will come up here then you click enter you guys you can see you can confirm that it is correct then you click continue you do not have to answer this one but you can answer as a survey but you do not have to fill in this information this information so i can just click continue the system will allow you so this is a confirmation of your qualification selection a summary you can see that you have applied for the first choice here or oh, the second choice you will apply for it once you have completed this one so once you have submitted this one so you read all of this information and uh, if you are fine with it you agree then you click submit click once you do not click so many times here as you can see, based on the, of the information we have provided, they require what? An IT copy and a school certificate. So now you can be able to click choose file and go and upload your IT copy where you have located your document. You double click there. Then in the name of the document, it will come here. Then after that, you click upload. The name of the document will come here. So can you remove the wrong document just in case you have uploaded the wrong document? No, you cannot. You are allowed to upload a maximum of five uh, documents on one tab. So uh, if you have uploaded the wrong document, just come and gain and click choose and upload the correct document. Then the university will find the correct document. Then school certificate you do, you, are, you do the same thing, you upload it. Then after that you click upload. 
then this will come here to see that the document is uploaded you will see that this the n here will change to y the n will change to y then if you would like to upload extra document you come and upload here you can click maybe the what you want to upload let's say completed qualification then you can go and choose that file where you've uploaded it where, where we have located it then it will come here then you click upload file then it will come here as their subtopic uh, as their subtitle and the name of the uh, document that you have uploaded if you are fine then you click submit document and continue so as you can see you have applied at this university so you can see this is a confirmation of new applicant you are new in this applying for what is this for the short learning program you will receive a different student number from the student number that you had when just in case you applied for undergraduate and everything you can see this is the confirmation of your email uh, please to make sure that you do not forget this I always advise that you screenshot this you just press window and print screen then you screenshot this information to have it just in case to remember that you applied using this cell phone number and the email address so you should be receiving an SMS also an email uh, confirming that they have received your application both uh, the emails can be bought from study info at UNISA also from UNISA uh, applications at UNISA confirming with your student number uh, all of this information yeah so just like that ladies and gentlemen you have already applied for short learning programs you can start there by elevating yourself going up so yeah ladies and gentlemen good luck with your applications and take care of yourselves